sub nerds it's Josue the year Josue whatever you want to call me today I am going to be doing a photo shoot on film but with a digital lens so you may be asking me Josue how are you gonna put a digital lens on a film camera well it's pretty simple you just throw it on duh now but for real this film camera takes EF lenses which I use. The mount is the same and therefore I'm able to use my new lenses on this film camera. So yeah, this camera is the Canon EOS A2E. And the lens I am using for today's shoot is my 24 to 72.8. And then towards the end, I also used, I also used my 85 millimeter towards the end. So this film camera was one of the last film cameras ever made before digital, which is why it has an EF mount and autofocus and all these advanced features. So basically this camera is almost a digital camera, but it's film. So this video really isn't a review or anything. It's just a video of me seeing what I could do with this setup and the results I'd get with a digital lens on my film camera. And yeah, I just wanted to test it out and see the results. Before shooting, I thought to myself, this just might be my new favorite way to shoot because I feel like it's just a perfect mix between digital and film. So my thought process was I'd have the sharpness from the lens while also having like the colors and the tones from film that I love. So yeah, just like a perfect mix for me. So that's why I was super hyped to shoot with this. So yeah, that's basically what this video is. I hope you enjoy the behind the scenes and I will also be talking about my experience with this setup at the end of the video and talking about the results and all that. So stick around to the end, and I will see you in a bit. Enjoy. What's up, nerds? It's so Swavy. <laughs> yummy. Yeah, uh, we're about to shoot. We're on top of a parking garage, as you can see, and we're using this today. And yeah, we're just about to shoot. Do see what we could do. I'm excited. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. so I just drank some Red Bull because I was feeling, you know. <laughs> Tired, but we good now. <gasps> we got a problem. Don't open it. <gasps> oh, it is. All right, so um, I didn't hear it advancing, so I opened it. So those first shots I just wasted. Let's, let's keep going. Shaking my head.
finished up. How'd it go? It went really good, actually. I'm so excited to see it. Yeah. I planned on doing digitals, but we didn't. We did straight up film. Um, I love film anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll see. Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right, I'm so bye. excited. Bye. Hello. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little BTS. Not the band. Not the boy band. Behind the scenes. I always hate saying BTS because I feel like everyone always just thinks of the boy band. Oh, and I didn't finish the row the day I did the shoot. So I finished it at a sunrise that I went to. So here are the photos from the sunrise. So yeah, I don't really have much to say besides I really loved shooting with the setup. It was exactly how I thought it would be. Yeah, the results came out exactly how I thought they would come out. I got the sharpness from the lens and then the colors and the tones still from the film, which to me is a perfect mix. So experience wise, it did feel a little bit different from shooting with other film cameras. I mean, mostly because it has autofocus. The autofocus actually did really, really well. I don't think I got one picture out of focus. And obviously I don't really care if it focuses slow or anything like that because I am still shooting film. And either way it's faster than manually focusing. So yeah, overall the shoot was a little bit more fast paced than it would have been with a different film camera. But I obviously knew I was still shooting film. So I still was slowing down to make sure my composition was good and the posing was good and all that that I usually do with film. So yeah, it still had a slower pace than digital like film should have and that's why I like film. But it definitely did feel a little bit more fast paced because of the autofocus. <sighs> but yeah, that's really all I have to say. Uh, I think the results speak for themselves and this just may become my new setup for film. We'll have to see. I really loved using the setup. It was really satisfying using it. Dude, I loved using this camera even though I don't want to talk too much about the camera because again, this is not a review, even though I want to go full nerd and talk about all the specs and all that nerdy stuff. But maybe for a different video, I'll do that. All right, whatever, I'll nerd out really quick. <laughs> so some specs it has, it has five autofocus points, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it did the job. Um, the shutter speed actually goes up to one eight thousandth, which, which is like equivalent to most digital cameras, which is crazy. So, so it is really good for portraits when you want to have the aperture wide open and this has a feature where you can hold it up to your eye and look at the focus point and it will focus it it sounds like it's fake but it's not mostly a gimmick but it's still a cool thing to have those are all the modes it has it has what most digital cameras have it has this little lcd screen different focus modes I'm telling you it's almost a digital camera except with film anyways enough about the camera no more nerd stuff nerd be gone and yeah that is about it i just wanted to show you guys my setup and the results i could get from it yeah i just wanted to test it out and i hope you guys enjoyed quick plug once again i'm gonna have to do this every video but if you don't know i have a print shop open the link is in the description all the proceeds are going to helping me move out to la and if you didn't know already i'm moving out to la i made a video on it you can check it out here but yeah, if you checked it out, I'd really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button because it helps a ton. And if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to see more of this type of content. And while you're at it, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay blessed. Yeah. Bro, I stay stuttering. I need some milk. Chocolate milk, great value. Strengthen your bones. Mm.